a lovely beach in Cannes, and I cannot believe I'm here right now. There's so much going on around me. I mean, this is literally a dream come true. There's red carpet right there, all the pavilions. Every national cinema you could possibly imagine is all here. The entire world of film is here right now. It's crazy. We've sort of jumped a few steps because a lot of people it takes for you know years and years of dreaming to come to Canada through this opportunity we've been able to come here and experience something that a lot of people would just kill for so networking meeting creative people going up the red carpet all the memories I think it's can't beat it it's industry only and so for us to be able to participate in this is an extreme privilege for us so we're really excited about it. Adobe came out with a new product with Creative Suite 3 Intel came out with the high-performance processors with dual cores or with quad cores. We are delivering the power and Adobe is delivering the value for, for the users. So we decided to join one of the major, most important festivals in the world, the Cannes Film Festival. We invited 40 students to work here, to be creative, to make a project and uh, to produce their own view of this festival. Simultaneously, there's two competitions going on. One is the, all the students uh, that are coming for the Adobe program, the VID Studio. And the other part is the online community, where uh, students from all over the world uh, form a team and create a documentary. The best part of the Cannes experience for me personally was just getting to see how all these student teams work together and seeing so many students make the transition from being sort of very individualistic in their approach to real professional sort of team members. It really is an intense, intense experience. It places a lot of demands, not just on the skills and, and the energy and the physicality and the technique, but also being elastic with your ego and letting go of some things. And so many of these students did it so well uh, that you just naturally get excited for what's coming next in their careers. As uh, video becomes more important as a way for cultures to express themselves, it becomes important that people all across the world are able to benefit from these types of programs. I am Malcolm McDowell and I'm an actor. We're doing this documentary in the press and one of the things we thought was really key for our documentary was getting an interview with either an actor or a director, someone who's been on the opposite side of the lens. And I'd been speaking with Carol, the publicist, and she had told me she was very good friends with Malcolm McDowell. So I approached him and introduced myself, told him about the program, and he said, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll do an interview with you. The students are getting the use of brand new Lenovo laptop computers. They're also getting the benefit of the Adobe software, the new beta production premium package. They also have these great Panasonic cameras and a sound kit that we've put together for them. So they've really got a, quite an arsenal to go out there and make their short documentaries. And it's been interesting to show the students both sides of what it takes to make a film in the digital era. No, it's, it's actually really fun, everything. actually. Both of us. Um, he has more After Effects experience than I do, um, but we've been doing file transfers uh, for After Effects, etc. The new software seems, seems to be amazing, and the, new so the features that they have seem to be very cool. What can you use some of the nice little additions they have on, on the final project? The whole new Creative Suite software, we're learning that before it's even out on the market. Now that we're learning more with Adobe After Effects and uh, more stuff with Adobe Photoshop, I feel like we can really take our documentary really a lot further and we're actually thinking about uh, including sort of how to tell our story with those elements. For me this is very interesting because it shows how much the software industry and the computers in industry have entered into the, you know, the film industry. And uh, the fact that Adobe is trying to nurture students and giving them tools to work with and, uh, and ideas of sharing and a community, I think it's fascinating and, it's, and it's, uh, it's a great opportunity for the students to be part of it. <laughs> I never really knew what, how extensive production was, but I'm learning because now I'm in charge of production here, so hopefully I'll be able to learn what my interest is and maybe learn new aspects of the film world that I never knew. Everyone has their own individual role, so they know actually what it's really like in real life. 
to be a director, a producer, an editor, and have the responsibility of those kind of professional positions. It boils down to who has the best strength out of your team to make it the best team possible. And it is a collaborative effort in the end, and everybody does help out with everything else. We saw some of the mentors' work that they've done in animation or just experimental film, and that's something that I hadn't learned in the past, but I had an interest in. It's learning how to get closer to people and learning from people's experience. And being here, I think I learned a lot about filmmaking. I was trying to encourage the students in how to incorporate elements of animation into their documentaries as well as um, just motion graphics. Each team was to determine who was going to play what role and this was a, a great test in establishing team building skills and the pitch. They're paired up with the faculty mentors as well as industry mentors who will play a strong part in their lives from this day forward. I personally have never directed a documentary before. This is my first time I usually direct narrative shorts. So this is a really, really cool experience for me. So the award for this year's post-production supervisor, the emerging post-production supervisor, is Tarek el -Kassif. Coming to the awards ceremony, having everybody dressed up, looking fantastic, was a very proud moment for a lot of us. Uh, to see the film screened and together and to realize the amount of work that had been done and how solid they were in their story and in their craft. And we've been talking to the students a lot about content development. What goes into making a good documentary? The human side of the stories of the people and the events around the festival. I've met a lot of great people here who, who know a lot of things about filmmaking and the whole process and to be able to have those contacts um, all over the world so that when I go out and I'm doing a project and I, I can find those people, it really it breaks borders and it, it, it makes the world like a more of a global place and I mean I think that's a great thing that Adobe is trying to push here. I've learned more here than the, the, my entire experience at film school. I mean more people, uh, more collaborative, I mean it's just condensed and it's, it's better. When we were out shooting and, and, and in the studio um, we had people coming up to us and asking us what we were doing, what kind of uh, relationship do we have with Adobe and what we want to want to be in the, in the future or in the industry and um, I mean even wearing our t-shirts around I mean we look like a team you know making our documentary walking around the festival and, and that would catch people's attention. When we uh, were interviewing people people asked like where our documentary was going to be shown and I was able to give them the website and showed them how to like told them wrote down directions on how to get to the documentary so they're really excited to see it once it gets posted. The Real Idea Studio website is an amazing tool for the students to have daily vlogs and journals for other people around the world, both family and friends, to really be a part of their experiences. No matter what happened, I always put it in the video blog and I always kept in mind that most of the people that were visiting the site were filmmakers and that they wanted some advice to find out what it's really like to make a documentary under this type of pressure and under this type of situation. Winning last year has opened the door a lot for me. Just mentioning anything with Adobe and the fact that I want something, you know, people, people's eyes light right up and their eyebrows go up and they want to know what am I doing next, when am I going to be able to work, and I think it's actually going to help me a lot in my application process for my master's. There's some of the connections that they're going to make, um, they'll probably make for, for a, a, lot of a, a lot longer than just the two weeks they're here, so it could stand them in good stead for future projects and collaborations. I think the most important part of the Real Idea Studio is this notion of helping students rise up to the next level in their careers. And that's why those opportunities are so important. 